This is unit six, week two, question number six. How did we end up with the rights to operate and build the Panama Canal? Why was it necessary? Well, it was more of a shortcut. Miners had been cutting through there during the gold rush through the Isthmus of Panama. The idea of a water route from the Pacific to the Atlantic without going around Cape Horn in South America, of course, was appealing for business and practicality. Initially, we were in, the U.S. was investigating two possible routes. One went through, or several went through Nicaragua, and the others went through the Isthmus skinny part, which was part of Colombia at the time. And in 1851, we signed a treaty with the British, actually 1850, the clayton bulwer Treaty, saying any future canal built would be jointly done by the British and America. In 1901, we signed a new treaty, the hay plumsfoot Treaty with Britain, giving us the rights to build one on our own kind of symbolizing the emergence of the U.S. as a world power in the late 1800s. We would still agree to let other countries use the canal, but we could build it on our own. Of course, the humor was the French were already building one. The French had built the Suez Canal connecting the Mediterranean to the Red Sea, cutting off Africa. So the same French guy that did that, Ferdinand de Lesseps, had negotiated, built, was building a canal, but the French were dying of mosquitoes, malaria, problem. They wanted to give up. The U.S. agreed to pay $40 million to the French to take over their canal project, but of course we wanted to get permission from Colombia to start digging in their country. Actually, before that, some people still favored going through Nicaragua, but a stamp was circulated, a Nicaraguan stamp with a volcano on it, all through the American um, halls of government to promote the idea that there are volcanoes there. It's a bad route part of the promotion of the Panamanians to get us and the French company to use the French remains to buy out their bankrupted canal project. Anyways, we offered Colombia uh, $10 million and $250,000 rent per year. And they said no. Well, why? They probably wanted more money. The U.S. was very frustrated in many ways. So what happened? We sent the battleship down off the coast of Panama, which was, remember, part of Colombia. And we encouraged protests and demonstrations in Panama, part of Colombia, including a demand for better salaries, pay, and then an independence movement, predominantly with railroad workers and fire department members. Colombia could have easily sent in their military to put down this rebellion in their northern province. But the U.S. battleship off the coast just discourage that. Very quickly, they declared independence. The U.S. recognized the new independent nation of Panama. The diplomat from Panama, his name was Philippe Bunau Varillo, a French citizen negotiating for the canal company, was now the diplomat of the new country of Panama. They stitched up a, ho a, a flag for Panama in a hotel room in New York. We recognized the new country, immediately offered them $10 million and 250,000 rent per year for a 10 mile wide canal zone in which we have built this canal. Massive engineering project, I mean unbelievable. In the process we drained many um, water swamps dry, um, learned sprays to prevent malaria and yellow fever, tremendous medical advances allowed us to actually successfully build this project. Although most of our workers were from Barbados, um, and parts of the Caribbean that we had imported. But ultimately we erected this canal with giant ships can go through and these locks, there's actually really only three locks, but you can go across the entire continent from the Pacific to Atlantic in a few hours. By the way, here's Mr. Merrill hanging out in the plaza in Panama City where they declared independence. So the United States made a country. We actually felt guilty, I guess, in 1921 we paid um, Colombia $25 million, sort of an oops, sorry you lost your territory, we created a new country, but here's some guilt money. Anyways, that's it from some guy in an Aloha print shirt, but the canal been opened under budget, and it's being widened now, and we didn't, and eventually, controversially, we turned it back over to Panama. Jimmy Carter did that in the 70s. That's it from some guy in an Aloha print shirt. <laughs>